Okay, I want to show you guys how to use the new feature called macros. Um, I'll show you how we're using it with Abby. <clears throat> so under our home button, we have a calendar folder, and then you'll also see a battery level down here. So I'll show you what that's all about in a minute. But first of all, let's click on her calendar folder. Right now, she has to press every day. Today is, and she has to open up the day and pick which day it is, pick, open the months, pick which month it is, the same with the with the date, you know, and the year. And so every day um, she works on that as part of circle time with her school. But if we wanted um, a button to come up that just was able to change every day and say the date every day, that's what a macros button would be. So it's a button that you make that says either the date or the time or the battery level, um, something that changes all the time and it changes with the battery level or the time or the date. And so let me show you how to add that. We're going to go over to our pencil button and we're going to press add a button. And then where it says text to speak, we're going to go over to our circle to find our options with the plus. And where it says sound and expressions, I just made a video showing you how to use those. We're going to go over to macros and we're going to look at what our options are. There's three different options for the format of how you want the date to show up if you want the date. Or if you just want it to say the day of the week, it will say the day of whatever the day of the week is. It will say yesterday is, tomorrow is, and then it gives you different options for yesterday and tomorrow, day after tomorrow, this month is, next month is, last month, this year, next year, last year. And then you've got some options for time, if you want the full time in different formats, the hour, the minute, and then there's the battery level. So right now, let's go ahead and set it up for the date. We're going to go ahead and press date long format. And you'll notice that the label has the whole date up here. So what I'm going to do is, for the label, I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm just going to have it say, today is. So you can put whatever you'd like there. Today is. So I'm going to have it labeled today is. And then, of course, you can change the picture to whichever one you would like. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave it leave it there and I'm going to press all done and so you'll notice our new here's our new button and so when we press that oh we have to get out of edit mode we have to press all done Sunday October 6th 2013 yeah and so if you want it to say today is before the date then you go down to back to your pencil button and select it and then what you can do is sneak in here under the text to speak <clears throat> and you can add it in the very beginning but make sure you don't mess up what's already there so you can put today is space and then leave that the rest of the way and then press all done today is Sunday October 6th 2013 so there you go and if you want to go back and edit it, you can press it, put a period at the end as well to make it um, correct there. So that's one example of macros. So let's go back to the um, pencil button, edit, add a button, and I'll show you about the battery level. So we're going to go back over to our circle and plus, back up to macros. And of course, remember, you can add a time if you want to say the time. We're going to go ahead and do battery level. So this is what comes up. It just has the picture of whatever the battery level is. I'm going to go ahead and change that picture, I think. Choose the symbol. I'm going to type in battery. See what we have as options. So I like that battery picture. And so we're going to leave um, the label as the percentage so that we can see when we see that button what percentage level we're at. And we're going to press all done and we're going to press all done in editing so now 55%. we have what our battery level is and so um, anytime you want to check you could put that on the home page or if you wanted to check you could go under calendar and look or as you see 
I have it here under her home folder as well. So you can put that wherever that would be handy. So um, that is how you use macros. Pretty cool new feature. Enjoy.